So I was asked about um, this recognition and declaration of health freedoms part of the Charter. And what we've done in that section is we've basically, for the first three rights that are declared, taken the health rights and freedoms that courts like our Supreme Court of Canada have declared that we already have. So for instance, the first one is the right to life, liberty and security of the person. That's taken word from word from Section 7 of our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. That's already Canadian law. We're not creating any new law. This, uh, the second one, the right to sovereignty over our own bodies, is something that the courts, including the Supreme Court of Canada, have said forms a fundamental basis of our common law and is also included in Section 7 of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. <coughs> The third right really is just breaking down part of the second right. When we have sovereignty of our own bodies, that includes the right to choose how we're going to treat ourselves when we're facing a health crisis, which is really all that the third right does. Now the fourth right listed, that's where it gets a little bit interesting because really what that is is a limitation on the second and third right. We've, we've said that you've got a right to, to a treatment unless there is significant and compelling harm, or substantial and compelling harm of a significant health risk, and that removing the treatment from the market isn't going to cause more of a risk, it may be that um, a court would not uphold that right because the courts have not said that our right to freedom to choose treatments of our choice is limited in circumstances like that. But why we've written it that way is because if we have an act and regulations drafted the right way, we are very concerned to give the regulatory body the power it needs to address significant health risks. We didn't want an act that just says we protect these rights. We also wanted it to address, address safety issues. So we've written that in such a way that we think we're just on this side of the constitutional line. If we had written it any stronger, we think it'd probably be illegal. It would give the state too much. But we think in the right circumstances, that the government may have the right to restrict our access to some treatment options. The court might disagree. But just so that you understand, in writing it the way we wrote it, we're trying to also make the Charter very strong in giving this new Ministry of Wellness the powers that it needs to address significant health risks.